Shorting the euro has been a very popular trade, but one prominent economist says it is no longer the way to go. Sarah Eisen has that story for us this morning. Sarah? Eric, he's Harvard University professor Martin Feldstein, once advised President Reagan, and here's the irony, Eric. He's been one of the most vocal critics of the very idea of the euro. Still, he says when it comes to the euro's recent sell-off, the market has it wrong. I think what's happening with the euro uh, is an overreaction. There's, in, in my judgment, no real reason why the euro should have sold off overall. After all, Germany is not at risk. France is not at risk. And he blames that 10% drop since November on, quote, panic selling. Now, you may be wondering why is he calling for a stronger euro when he hates the idea of it? Because it's all relative. He hates the dollar right now even more. So if I wanted to be nervous about the future of a currency over the next, say, five years, there's more reason to worry, given the size of the U.S. budget deficits and given the size, even more importantly, of our trade and current account deficits, uh, is much more reason to worry that the dollar cannot maintain its current exchange rate. A widening trade gap, trillion dollar deficits, the need to borrow from the rest of the world, all factors, Feldstein says, should keep the value of the dollar under pressure in the long run, Eric. Sarah, thank you.